Uh, today we're driving through Swatham in Norfolk. This is going to be our furthest north day of the trip. Um, overcast. We actually had a little rain this morning. It's the more typical English weather. That was a roundabout, a little button in the street. Oh, <laughs> Diane's getting more assertive with her driving now. Oh, We're all afraid, very afraid. Stop. <laughs> Entering a traffic calmed area. Is that what they say? What does that mean? That's what the sign said, was traffic calmed area. Okay, we haven't figured out what traffic calmed means. It appears that this is a windier part of the country. There are quite a few windmills for power generation. Okay, we want to bend to the right. Yes. Right. Around the roundabout. Around the button. Castle Acre. Beautiful. Oh my god, this is so cute. Should we park and get out and walk? Or? There's no telling how far we're going to go. We went to Castle Acre yeah. and visited the Priory. It was beautiful. It was not an intact castle. It was a castle ruins. Well, but it was... The priory was the priory. Uh, ruins of a monastery. Yeah, the priory was the ruins of a monastery and the, the castle was just the sort of the base anyway of the Mont and Bailey, but um, the priory was awesome. The priory was the best. Hello. Meow. It's filled with ropes. That's sweet chestnut. There's cables. Oh, probably to keep the wind from blowing it. Sweet chestnuts. They don't. Yeah. Serious. That's certainly to keep the wind from blowing on the tree. Well, no, I mean to keep it from blowing it down. Undercroft, it says. The 
This is the outer parlor. Frodo and Bilbo. Oh, my Lord. I'll come back to that. There's a wood floor up here. All right, I'll have to go back to that other room. Oh my Lord. This is beautiful. I suppose they've restored this room. With wood steps. Yes. Oh. Oh, and there's more stairs. I have to go back to the other room. Oh, my. The fireplace. All right, I'm going back to the other room. Look how high the steps are. And the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Briar's Solar. The Briar's Great Chamber. The beams up there. Oh my, this is the Prior's Chapel. They have roses in the beams. Another, and a door that Looks like he goes out into space. All right, and floors. I should the floor here are stone bricks. Where's the other place? It was wood. Oh, in the chest. I don't think I showed the chests. This is like, what a treasure. Oof. Plaster on the walls again. 
I got this one already. And they chipped away part of the plaster to show underneath. Oh, wow. So they've plastered over some cool stuff in there. I think they have. This is where you came in? Where no, I, I, I was here and then I went back. So I've been in this room. Oh, this is very steep, oh, steep steps. Oh, wow. There's no exit from here. And it's plastered over again. They have the timbering, you can see. And this is, what was this called? The priory. priory. It's where the prior lived. And he was like he was like the, the head of the church, wasn't he? <laughs> Did drop right there. Yeah. Got the, a, a rope. Yeah. It's almost like going down a ladder. Logan would have loved this. Oh, yeah. I bet the guard rope is. Well, who knows? So much of this castle has Whoa, fallen down. I'm, I'm, I'm filming right-handed, so <laughs> I have nothing to hold on to. If I fall. Dad, where are you going? I'm going to help mom. Oh, is there another one? Fish tank. One man recalled his feelings about the destruction of a monastery in Yorkshire. I can remember to my father 30 years after the suppression, whether he thought well of the religious persons and the religious people of the world. He told me, yay. Well, said I, how can we do that? He was so ready to destroy and spoil the thing that he thought well of. What should I do, said he? Might not I, as well as others, have some profit from the spoil of the 
the Priory Barn. So we're in the ancient brewery. I can almost feel it. The cool walls. At least I think. Brick and stone together. That's where they are. Around vats or barrels were kept. Hmm.
South tran transept. I started at the high altar and I'm working my way down to the entrance. That would have been a glorious stained glass window. This is supposed to be the kitchen. Perhaps this is the back side of the hearth. I said that these four pillars were the uh, the pillars of the that Held supported the chimney. the chimney, so the fire would be right in the middle massive but the space itself is rather small so I wonder if the preparation tables the prep tables were all around the perimeter there does seem to be a small alcoves or something here I thought at first was were hearths but I don't know what they would be wash sinks perhaps or I don't know larder Hmm, almost looks like steps going up. Yeah, that may be a stairwell. So may, they may have been stairwells. So I'm not certain. This one looks much more square. Though. Yeah, this is more square. So anyway, they said later they, uh, and that's a doorway right there, I think. Or perhaps a window. Hmm. It's so hard to imagine. It's Tiger in there. This is all the places we have just seen. The kitchen was down. Yeah. What do we have? There's the kitchen. Oh, that was the barn. The brewery, I don't is think, is there. Yeah, it's not in there. <laughs> that was the toilets, the lavatory, the latrine. Uh, 
not telling what these outbuildings are, but I remember that was the barn right here. Yeah, that are little doors are. Not quite yeah. the scale, is it? Yeah, it's all gone. Here are the cloisters that we were standing in. I don't know, I guess we walked down to here and this is where we went over. Right. Yeah, yeah. See there see the, the round window? Yeah. Of the, the priors. House, right there. So that stuff came off the end of the yeah. high altar. Right. No, the high altar was down That's here. That's what I mean, the stuff here. Right. Right. That's how Excellent. I began my filming today. It was Okay, we finished touring the Priory and on our way to the castle. Following the signs. We are following our feet. Actually, we're following the engine. <laughs> no, I was quoting Night's Tale. Just follow your feet, boy. Remember? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine living here? Look at all of these little houses. They're so tiny. Sure, are you getting any of the houses? Yeah. Actually, this has a very wide view. Two yes. houses stuck Just they call that a semi-detached. We're in our, on our way into the parking for the castle. Oh my. Is that the I think that is. Castle Acre. Once again, I'm feeling like I'm in a video game. One of the walls, and it looks down into somebody's property. How annoying for them. This tiger again, off in the distance. Perhaps that was the entrance. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go in this way. Ward Gatehouse. Alright. So this is the keep. This appears that the, in the 11th century there was a country house on the site. Uh huh. And then during the unrest after um, the Norman conquest, and the, 
after the 12th century, they started building fortifying walls around it. Oh, all right. And there, one set of walls, they think, was put up in 1140, and then a second set in 1150. Interesting. So the front door would have been around here. Although I would guess that I'm in that area. This is the main hall, I suppose. it looked like it was multiple stories yeah. and as it fell down I mean, they've excavated in here but they haven't excavated the outsides of the walls so the soil is probably on rubble from oh. so the ruins to this are they're, they're in far uh, the priory was much better condition I than think it was, and it was I think it was a much more elaborate This is another well. Oh my, you can't even see the bottom. Oh, barely. I'm glad they've put a grate over that. All right, hey, let's head up again. There's that, um, well, what I am guessing is the front gate into the bailey. the town of Castle Acre and I believe that might be I wonder if that's from the priory we were just at. I'm not I'm not sure. Does it say first curtain wall walk? Yes, yeah. Circa 1140. So this is the walkway. And the crenellation. So I suppose you could use arrows at people. There's a little car. Or catapult cows and insult people's mothers from here. <laughs> There's that structure I kept calling the front gate. And according to this map here, it would be about this structure, I think. wooden bridge over there that comes around would have been this 
right here that goes into the keep area. And there's the Bailey area. So I'm standing about here, I guess. This is somebody's house. It's their antenna. My goodness. We're in a neighborhood. Yeah, it's kind of well then I think we needed to take that. Alright. Let me go back. Tiny, tiny little garden. It's all graveled in. Must be the back door, actually. We're down in the moat, I guess. We're looking up, up, up at the wall. forever to find this place. It's the Barrel and Bannum, or the Bannum Barrel, or something like that. And of course, the GPA wasn't ex GPS wasn't exactly perfect. Uh, so this is my worst driving day ever, but I managed. Oh, look, there are horses nearby. We're blithely ignoring it. But if you're ever in Bannum, go to the Barrel. <laughs> Rum all night is the cider yeah, aged in rum barrels. Very good. And they also had an ale from nearby called Wolf Coyote. And it was that, a, that awesome was awesome as well. That was very awesome. We're here in the Bannum countryside. And we are at the barrel. Is where they make cider and beers. This was purchased by a home brewer and his family and his children are currently inside and they are running the establishment. Pretty amazing. The wind is whipping in here. Another song that's similar, like a not this tape, but a hot no, not the two, sorry. Oh, the girl is going to be talking about the fish. No. Oh, don't understand what you're talking about, then spit it out! Hey, someone's done, like, copied that song, but not quite as good. Hey, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Brian is driving. This is awesome. Be afraid, be very afraid. I can see the sights. And Tiger is navigating. I had a, a pint of cider and it was strong cider, so we decided to be um, safe. She was hiccuping. I was hiccuping, so we decided that it would be best if I let somebody else drive. But anyway, it's six, we're back, and we're probably going to spend the rest of the day drinking cider. Good day. Oh, good. I love me. Tell me it's not on the style, mate. That'd be a well, roll It'll roll help. Roll. Moon Glove one, two, three, death touch. Elf. <laughs> <laughs> With death touch. With death touch. Or octaves. You're done? Isn't this tapped? You're tapped it. Yeah. You're tapped it. I told you my brain was kind of off today. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Wee bit. A little bit. Wee bit. Um.